All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So last night, I made a video about the JP data download where we got to see that super hype trailer for the upcoming worldwide campaign on both Global and JP. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, a lot of people before this trailer came out were complaining about a new Super Vegito, another Vegito. Why can't we get something else? So on and so forth. And as soon as the trailer dropped, as soon as we saw the animation for the Goku and Vegeta fusing and the art for Super Vegito, um, I don't hear that many complaints anymore, you know? It's just funny, like, I, I don't care, it doesn't really matter. I was hyped since the beginning. It's just pretty interesting to see the change in tone for a lot of people before and after the trailer came out. Anyways, uh, that aside, Global now has our very own data download and we got mostly the same things of course the trailer is now in english so we're definitely going to check that out but there are also a few other little details that i either missed uh in in last night's video because i was too hyped or just uh, hadn't come out yet when i was making the video okay so why don't we start with the english trailer first and then we're going to move on to some of the other stuff that we learned okay so here we go let me actually uh turn off my own music here and pop on some headphones so I can enjoy the audio with you guys. And let's get it. Okay. Dude, I, I've literally seen this thing like at least, I want to say 10 times, 15 times. And I just can't help but smile every time I see this. By the way, okay, one thing I missed, okay, one thing I missed in yesterday's video that a lot of people actually caught, but I was like too excited. Um, this Buhan art, or sorry, this Tanks art is actually new. So we don't have this art in the game yet. These other ones are pretty... Actually, I don't really recognize this one too. Maybe it's from the new Boo on JP, but I don't I don't really know. But either way, like a lot of these arts look familiar, right? But this Boo Tanks one, right? We don't have in the game. Looks kind of similar to the SSR Int Buhan, but it's not obviously because it's Boo Tanks. And uh, they know a lot of people are speculating that this is probably going to be what the um, LR Buhan actually starts off as, which makes a lot of sense. So um, yeah, probably, probably going to be getting this art in some form. When the card drops right and then we have of course this uh glorious definitely a different style not bad at all though i love this buhan art um reminds me a lot of like bukigiri match or legends or something like that but it's dope all right i'm down for this and hopefully and i, I was joking about this yesterday well, let me turn on my own music by the way as i was saying like yesterday uh I, I, I made a joke on stream i was like dude what if they actually like the different thing they do for um you know this this celebration or this dual dokkan fest is that the arts are actually in hd as opposed to the normal kind of grainy like low res art right and based on the new style i feel like there's actually a decent chance that these guys are actually going to be like much higher resolution than, than we're used to than normal right which would be awesome i don't know why they couldn't do that for with like all arts right like every single art in the game you know, just give us the option to download um, HD arts like it's not that hard but anyways completely you know different topic for a different time for a different video I'm hoping these guys are in HD not holding my breath but that'd be sick and uh, you know as far as the animation here goes this is gonna be the I mean you assume it's the transformation mechanic or animation that plays when they fuse into Vegito there's base Vegito and then of course we finally at the end give us a little reveal of the uh, most likely the art for the LR Super Vegito. So there you go. I'm hoping in HD once again. We'll have to see. And there's the English logo for the celebration worldwide celebration explosive fighting spirit campaign. 
There we go, guys. Okay, obviously, same visuals, but different text. And, uh, dude, it never hurts to watch it again, I'll be honest. Like, I can watch this 20 more times, 50 more times, and not get tired of it. Anyways, some other things that uh, I didn't really talk about in yesterday's video. Number one, we're going to be getting a new Full of Stamina Saiyan Gluttons event, okay? And uh, based on the name, right, I think it's pretty clear. It's going to be something to do with stamina items, uh, specifically the meat items. We, we are getting the new large meat stamina item, which we haven't had in the game since, you know, these were introduced. Like, we talked about them before, right, for... Was it Saiyan Day? I think it was Saiyan Day when we got the meat items, but we only got small and medium. So we're finally getting the large meat, I'm assuming for like 100 stamina or something like that. And I'm thinking that this new event, based on the name, is going to allow us to actually farm stamina items. You know, large, medium, and small meats. Um, I don't really know like, if it's going to be like limited or something like that. Most likely, actually, probably going to be like once a day or something like that. But uh, this is probably going to be a new event where we can, you know, farm the stamina items. And then Showdown at the, the Ultimate Final Battle is going to be the new story event with the new free-to-play Hercule and Goku, which uh, we also got through the data download. Now, one thing that was actually missing from this data download okay, on the global side that JP had is uh, this wallpaper right here. I believe it's actually this one that we're missing. Okay, so this is the one with uh, the little boo that's actually flying in the background. So this is actually animated. The boo is like flying from right to left. And then we have Goku, Hercule, Vegeta, all the characters here. Um, and if you look into, like specifically into the the uh, contents of the global data download, that wallpaper actually is not present. Okay, we got the one with Vegito, uh, Gohan, and Gotenks, which looks amazing. Like I love this art. I love this wallpaper. I'm probably gonna use it for a while, but we didn't get the other one, man. We didn't get the one with the little boo flying in the background, which is weird. It doesn't make sense. There's no reason that we shouldn't have gone the other wallpaper too. I'm not that upset about it, but if it actually turns out that we just straight up don't get it, um, that's very unfortunate, man. Anyways, uh, a few other things here that I didn't talk about. Uh, we got a new purple dragonstone on the way. Dragonstone on the way. So of course, this is most likely going to be available through a stone pack you can buy to uh, exchange for some units, probably like three for an LR, two for a category lead, and one for like a 120 lead, most likely similar to the five year anniversary. And then also a new red dragon stone, which, is, uh, which of course usually is given for free to everybody during the first login, and you can exchange them for an EZA unit. And this right here is the memorial dragon stone, like right behind my head right here. And that is where we're gonna be getting for the uh, based on the total number of stones we spent in the last year since the last ticket distribution period, right? So, um, yeah, there's that. And large meat uh, Goku, there's the SSR Goku, SSR Hercule, who both will get Dokkan Awakenings, but we don't currently have uh, the files for their awakenings or the details. We got some assets for new stages, right? And then uh, that's pretty much it. So, the only, really, the only thing that's missing from this data download that JP got was that other wallpaper, which is just weird. I don't get it. Like, it's, it, I, I don't need it that bad, but like, it, it would have been nice to have, you know? Uh, big shout out to Proton10MG, by the way, for, uh, for posting the contents of this data download. Make sure you guys hit him up with a follow after you watch this video. And before we go, let's just quickly go over the details for this Goku and Hercule for anybody that missed it. It is available in game, but we didn't get like all the details. So let's start with the Goku here. Keep in mind, they do get awakenings. We don't know what their awakenings do yet. Okay, so leader skill is in type to keep plus one, HP attack and defense plus 25%, super attack, supreme damage, and passive is, a, is attack and defense plus 70%, raises attack and defense by up to 20%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Experienced Fighters, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Supreme Power. Okay, and then for Hercule, his leader skill is Majin Buu Saga, Q plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack is uh, raises defense, infinitely stacking, and causes huge damage to enemy, huge damage. Uh, passive is medium chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, reduces damage received by, by 30% when HP is 50% or more, and links are Courage, Money, 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 Hero, World Tournament Champion, Champion Strength, and Supreme Power. Okay, so 
uh, yeah, both these guys are looking pretty good, especially for their unawakened forms. This Hercule is actually going to be amazing for like Legendary Goku of Infinite Dragon Ball history, um, Super Battle as well because of his passive. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I, I see him being like one of the better, if not one of the best tanks in the game once he gets an Awakening, especially if he gets an Extreme Z Awakening. All right, I have a feeling that maybe both these guys will get EZAs as well um, when the celebration starts, or at least maybe like part two of the celebration, but we'll see. We'll see. Either way, they're both getting Awakenings. Um, they're both going to be really good, so that's hype. And one last thing that I didn't actually get to see before I stopped filming yesterday was uh, this right here. So we found the previews for the token events of uh, the upcoming Vegito as well as the LR Buhan, shout out to Air Dokan, or Air Vegito of course. There is the Buhan event preview, there is the uh, LR Vegito preview with the LR Vegito art as well as the Goku and Vegeta. This is most likely what their art's gonna look like uh, before you know they fuse into Vegito. And uh, Buhan, like I said, is most likely gonna start as a Boo Tanks, but uh, I, I don't know if there's like a 100% guarantee, like I don't know if that's confirmed, but there's a decent chance. Okay, so there's the uh, arts for their Dokkan events, and that is it guys. Uh, we got one more day before the celebration officially begins. I will be streaming once again today, just like I've been doing for the last 4-5 days, just you know, getting people hyped for the celebration, and then of course once the banner drops, once uh, the Dokkan Now video comes out, once the live stream goes live, I will be there for all that stuff. So make sure you guys are there as well. But for the time being, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And, uh, you know, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.